Do you want to learn how to make LEGO Movie Accurate Water? Well, let me show you. First of all, start off with a plane. Add a ocean modifier to that and set it to either generate or displace. I like to use displace because then I got a little bit more control. Just remember to uh, subdivide your plane by like a lot and uh, you get enough vertices, set your resolution high enough, and you should have moving water like that. Yeah. I like to use this add on called uh, Alt Tab Water. You can like choose between different kinds of oceans you want to make. So let's say I choose this, press append, and then it opens up like a pre made preset. And you can play with all of these settings, and the time is already set up for you. So if I pull up the timeline here, you can see that it looks pretty good. So you can just tweak around with these settings until you get something that you like. So I think I'm pretty happy with this now. So now let's finally turn this into Legos. So whenever I first tried to make this, um, I tried to use a mechalizer, but I couldn't figure out how to make the mechalizer actually animate the ocean instead of just doing a single frame. And I've heard that Citrine has said that you can change something in the geometry nodes. But yeah, before I knew that, I had already switched to using brick effects. I'm going to use that for this tutorial. If someone figures out how to do this with mechalizer uh, i'd like to see your results so by default it's going to be set to all parts here in the presets thing here and uh, i made a preset called ocean test which basically only sets these parts and then 40 percent on the one by four and 20 percent on the one by six i could probably set this to like 10 percent. so you don't want the bricks to be like too big because it's going to start to look kind of jittery so you kind of want to keep it as high resolution as possible so next down the line is color and we're going to set this to vertex and you're going to notice that there's nothing here that's because we have to make a um, color attribute uh, with face corner and bite color and just call it color and it should pop up here next you're gonna have to kind of tweak and figure out yourself i think you can use legacy colors and go into the custom palette and disable everything and maybe go through and pick whichever colors you want to use in your animation i think i maybe want to try to use these three you got the darkest you got the like kind of medium shade and then you have the foam color however the studs are going to be uh, white though next we're going to do the scatter which is going to be our ocean foam so we're going to have to import our foam stud so uh, go on mecha bricks and find your stud all right here i got my stud and you want to delete the empty and go into brick effects panel and you want to press prepare selected okay then you go back to the ocean you can add a new part select the stud and we eventually want to use a vertex group as a mask for this. So you can actually just make a new vertex group right away. Uh, we can call it like ocean foam and then select that there. You don't have to worry about any other settings like advanced scattering or anything because like it works automatically. Next, we want to enable our animation. Set it to like 100 frames. Next, you can set the step to either one or two. That depends on just your preference. As you can see, it says use voxel size for best results. So we want to enable this and want to set auto resolution and we can preview our model. Let's press preview. So as you can see, the add-on didn't detect any solid voxels. So we got to increase the padding. And there we go. Now we got some solid bricks. So if we were to press generate, uh, just delete this first. If we were to press generate right now. Oh, I should have disabled the... Anyways, here we are. Some nice waves here. Very slow though. So probably should have gone with once. To remove the entire animation, just uh, delete the hierarchy of the collection here. Um, so I'm going to set this to once. Okay, so now let's prepare our ocean for getting colorized, I guess you could say. So add a new uh, geo node to this. We want to add a um, named attribute. And if we type foam here, uh, you want to press the byte color. If there's nothing already called uh, foam here, you want to go to your ocean modifier and enable foam and call that foam. So we can preview our attribute and that's how it looks like right now so we can add a color ramp i like to use like a lego palette here to keep track of the official colors so i can just color pick them and set that to constant you can tweak your foam coverage here as well as your other colors 
and um, I've tweaked uh, my settings a bit, but to run you through it, you can change the smallest wave slider to increase and decrease details, and you can change the choppiness, change the foam coverage to get the right amount of foam that you want. So I found a sweet spot here that looks pretty good to me. So we want to add a store named attribute. Set that to byte color, face corner, and we want to call it color or ocean color or whatever you called it in your color attributes. Set the color ramp input to the value and the geometry to the output. So now we should have our foam info stored into this attribute, which sends it directly to brick effects in here. So if we were to press generate and set it to render mode, you can see that it works. Uh, from here on out, you can like tweak your colors and stuff. So I figured out some other colors here that kind of worked. All right, so at this point, you want to make sure that these are the settings that you want to use because now we're going to duplicate our geometry node and we're going to make it unique. And this is going to be our actual foam mask where to scatter our studs. So you want to remove the middle color here and make the blue completely black. Now we got a black and white mask and we want to call this like stud mask. Hey, so it's me from the future here and I figured out how you can do this all in one geometry node because I'm kind of stupid and never realized this. So you don't need two geometry node groups and I'm sorry if you follow the tutorial step by step so far. You're going to have to delete the other one just in order to keep it simple, I guess. So you have your basic color ramp here and uh, in order to uh, mask out the white parts you simply just add another color ramp and set it to constant and then automatically makes everything except the white parts completely black feed that straight into another store named attributes with your attribute name and it should work with the uh, your scatter mask here just forget what i said in the video you want to make a new vertex group called stud mask. So now when we're in brick effects, we want to go to the scatter and select the stud mask. Now, if we are to press generate, there is no scattering going on. Well, that ladies and gentlemen is because you cannot place studs on top of flat tiles, sadly. So my solution to this is to have one preset for the actual water with these parts and one preset without any of these tiles. Uh, you can just remove all of the tiles and then you're left with only bricks and plates. And hopefully the two models will match up. So if I now were to generate this, you can see that it's only tiles, but there's some studs here and there. So I can go into the scatter tab on the updater here and turn up the turn the density all the way up. As you can see, here are our studs. So you might be thinking, hmm, how do we combine these? Well, BrickFX has this amazing feature where you can hide the model and only have the scatter. So if we go back to our model and use our uh, normal ocean preset and generate, there we go. There is our foam on top of our water. So I'm gonna uh, turn this into a quick little animation and I will show you guys. So here I am in EV, and if I'm just gonna press play, looks pretty good. I mean, apart from the crazy jittering here, uh, that's why I said you gotta turn down the uh, one by six tiles or maybe not even use them at all. I'd suggest only going for one by ones, one by twos, maybe some one by fours, no two by twos or anything like that, because that's how they did it in the movie. So yeah, I hope you um, learned something from this video. Hope you can put this into uh, practice. Yeah, I hope I explained everything well enough. So um, thanks for watching.